G'day guys, this is Rob from troutlaw.com.au and today we are tying one of the simplest patterns I know. Simple as it may be, it is deadly effective in both still and running water. It's the Antron stick caddis, designed to mimic the caddis that turn up around in Victorian lakes in June, July, August, but still fishable all year round. Let's get started. We start with the Daiichi 2220 streamer hook in a size 14. Now these usually we'd use for tying woolly buggers and other similar streamers, but in this instance we're using it purely for the uh, 4x long shank on it. We don't really need a big hook cape, we just want the long shank. And then we're going to come in with Vivas 6 sword thread in brown and take thread wraps from just behind the eye all the way down the hook shank trimming off the excess as we go and ending with the thread just past the point of the hook now we come in with lead free round wire in a 0.015 gauge I usually keep this handy on a bobbin as well so it's nice and easy to apply and we take thread wraps filling essentially the middle third of the hook then simply break that off with your thumbnail take the rear off with your thumbnail now we're going to start taking thread wraps up the shank of the hook covering the wire and just building a slight taper at either end of it so it becomes more natural in the body. You can tie these without the wire in there. I like to fish lakes late in winter when the stick caddis are actually prevalent and fish them unweighted allowing the gentle movement of the water to carry them around. Next we take a packet of thin yellow fly tying foam. I tie these in yellow, chartreuse, orange, even white. Uh, depending on the day, sometimes the fish will take one colour and they won't even look at another. From that we cut a 2mm wide strip and trim off the edge to create a gentle taper. This is then tied in. right where the taper begins as the wire comes away. A couple of pinch wraps to hold it in place then we advance the thread up to the eye and back down again. At this stage we can trim foam off leaving just a small section hanging out over the eye of the hook and then take thread wraps up to the eye and back down again binding any excess foam in place before we bring the thread all the way back down to the bend of the hook the final piece of the puzzle is spirit river antron dubbing this time in March Brown. I have used hair's ear in the past and sometimes mix the hair's ear with different colours for a little bit more liveliness but I find the March Brown has the sparkle that this pattern needs and I don't really need to mix it with anything else. The beauty of this stuff is it dubs very very easily although you do need to be careful because it can clump up so with a thin noodle on the hook we get it to bite in at the rear and then start advancing the dubbing forward keeping a gentle taper on that body just make sure that we keep the 
dubbing tight around the thread as it comes up and as we need more apply a small amount to the hook don't go overboard as always it's easy to add more dubbing to your thread than needs to take it off make sure that we have coverage the whole way up and a little more just to finish it off once that's done quick half hitch behind the foam and then whip finish just behind the eye in front of the foam itself at this stage I take a trusty hard head cement from Loon and apply a very small amount to the tip of the bogkin turning my vise upside down I come in and place that to the underside just to bind that thread in place and there you have it one of the easiest flies to tie the Antron stick caddis it works just as well in rivers as it does in lakes doesn't look like much but it really gets the fish's attention thanks for watching of course all the materials for this video are available at www.troutlaw.com.au plenty more videos to come if there's anything you're interested in let me know have a great day and good luck on the water